Chad Stahelski. He made the original one, he's made this one. Now he's set up to make Highlander in this bitch. You know that's gonna be A1. You know we're in for a visual treat in this bitch. John Wick 2. Firstly, all I'm gonna say is I love this movie. I thought it was as good as the first one. I'm not sure whether I would go out on a limb and say it was better, but it's on par with. And you know, the first one was amazing anyway, so ain't no complaints with that. It pretty much picks up from where the last one left off. He's still trying to find his car in this bitch. And what ensues is some kick-ass action in the first 20 minutes. It is brutal. The fight scenes are A1. What I like about it is he gets his ass kicked a little. He still finds a way back. You remember from the end of the first movie, he stole a new dog for himself and he's got a dog in this one which he hasn't named. Now, I think he perhaps he hasn't named it is purely because he doesn't want to get too attached. As soon as you add a name to something, to a pet or an animal, that's a person. You want to get attached just in case something happened to this dog and its bitch. So he manages to finally get his car back and he's chilling, he relaxes, and he out the game once again. And then an associate comes out of nowhere with a marker. Now a marker, basically John Wick owes him for this. I don't know whether you remember in the previous movie, there was reference of him having an impossible task to complete in order for him to get out of the game in the first place. And this associate helped him with that. And now he has an IOU, so to speak, from John Wick. So now he's playing that card. John Wick turns him down. Let's just say it doesn't go down too well. So now John Wick's saying, all right, do you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to help you do this. But after that, I'm coming for you. And I love the way they're showing this world. These different agencies are everywhere, their own little sections scattered around the world. Like I said, he's set out to do the job. He does the job, but now... The associate can't leave any loose ends, so now John Wick is being hunted. And I'm gonna leave that there. The action sequences are amazing. They really are. I'd probably go so far as to say there's probably a little more hand-to-hand -hand combat in this. He's definitely either learned some new skills since the last movie, or he's regaining some of his skills since the last movie, right? Because I think the last movie is a little rusty, but it's all coming back to him now. It's vicious. There is a fight between him and Common that take place, which is bone crunching as hell. That fight, A1 in this bitch. These guys, obviously, they have respect for each other, but they're trying to kill each other. And, you know, there's good reasons for that shit. They've got codes and shit. There's a scene specifically where they both beat the shit out of each other, right? One's walking down a higher floor, one's on a lower floor. There's a sea of humanity in between them, and they're taking pot shots at each other with the gun. <laughs> So very, very cool. Another thing I really liked was him and Lawrence Fishburne back at it again. Do you know what I mean? They're meeting each other again after the Matrix movies. It was just so nice to see. And, you know, in the movie, they made reference to the fact that, you know, they've known each other before or whatever. And it was just a nice touch. It was a really nice touch. It made me actually want to watch the Matrix movies again, to be honest. The villain's simple. There's not really much depth to him. He's got like a, a kind of bodyguard, so to speak. She dangerous. She can't speak sign language and what have you. And it's not sexy about her, I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at her thinking, mm, mm, mm. Very nice, baby. There is a showdown that happens between her and John Wick. I prefer the fight between him and uh, Common. I think they could have switched the characters around or done something. It was a bit of a letdown, the final fight. That doesn't take away from the fact that this is an A1 action movie. Back to its roots, it's vicious, it's gritty, it pulls no punches. It is a great second addition to the movie. There's definitely going to be a chapter 3, and I'm very interested in seeing how the chapter 3 pans out, because he's very, very vulnerable right now. Brass tax seal of approval on this movie, 100%. It is a really good movie. I highly recommend it. You should go watch it. All right, guys, hope you liked the review. If you did, hit the like button and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, just thanks for watching. I'm going to catch up with you guys soon.